and this is an arts and entertainment studio. You can see some of the programs and events that they put on here, but the space, the space itself is pretty bare bones. You can see that it's very empty here. They actually have to bring in the equipment they use when they need to use this space, but they're planning to completely revamp all these different areas here to better serve the community. And the city of Sacramento says, while they're glad nonprofits are getting the help, they also want to make sure that local small businesses are getting a piece of the pie too. What you're walking into now is uh, what will become our uh, small black box theater. So Tamara Sandifer walks us through her arts and entertainment studio in North Sacramento. It's a big space with some big goals. It will become actual um, photography rooms, production rooms. Renderings of their plan now closer to reality, thanks to more than $216,000 in grant funding. It gives us the opportunity to give our young people cutting edge technology and training, quality training, so that it leverages uh, their ability to meet, maybe be able to do something more with their lives. The studio is one of seven nonprofits benefiting from the North Sacramento Transformative Reinvestment Grant. The $1.1 million total is meant to help expand their services for underserved communities. Single Mom Strong, a nonprofit focused on education programs for the children of single mothers, is also getting funds around $43,000. We've been wishing for this. Founder Tara Taylor tells me they'll use the money to upgrade their Woodlake Park facility, which needs better signage, lighting, and fencing. We don't have funds for improvements to a building um, and or marketing or advertising. It's just we're a small nonprofit. So an investment like this is huge for us. Sacramento City Council member Sean Tao represents District 2, which is in charge of awarding the funds. This is the right time for the city to focus its uh, investments and its opportunities on the Ponce Boulevard. He wants the remaining $1.7 million of the grant money to help small businesses. And it's important to support our businesses and make sure that you know they keep their doors open or make sure that they get the support from the city. And this is what it will look like. Those awarded the funds, hopeful for the future. It's a tremendously helpful uh, to have the grant because, uh, you know, we're doing great work, but we can do greater work when we have help. And you can really see the vision for what this space can turn into. The money for the transformative grant is coming from American Rescue Plan dollars. Reporting live in Sacramento, Orco Mana, KCRA 3 News. Orco, it's just great news having this money coming in. Is there a plan for getting some of this to businesses in the area? Yeah, Edie, that's still in the works. Councilman Tao tells me that he's planning on meeting with different members of the community in the next coming weeks to figure out the plan to divvy up the remaining funds to those local small businesses here. Yeah, I'm sure that'll be welcome news for them as well. Orko, thank you.